Hello, I'm Dr. Mohit Girotra, and on behalf of my co-authors, I would like to thank the editors of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology Journal for their invitation to present our paper entitled Efficacy of Combined Jejunal and Colonic Fecal Microbiota Transplantation for Recurrent Clostridium Difficile Infection. Fecal microbiota transplantation is a therapeutic modality involving installation of fecal ma material from healthy donors into the GI tract of patients with recurrent C. difficile infection to restore the recipient's microbiota to a pre-diseased state. Several uncontrolled observational studies have shown varying degree of clinical efficacy of FMT when delivered via NG tube, fecal enemas, upper endoscopy, or colonoscopy. Our prospective study was started in 2010 when we postulated that the simultaneous administration of standardized and processed fecal filtrate into the jejunum and colon of RCDI patients who were refractory to antibiotic therapy may lead to a better outcome with a single application. In addition, we examined the effect of stool processing on the microbiota transplantation of donor fecal samples and investigated fecal microbiota changes in recipients before and after FMT. RCDI patients between 18 to 90 years with more than three recurrences were cons considered eligible for enrollment. Healthy donors were carefully selected and for FMT, fixed amounts of fecal filtrate prepared from 25 to 30 grams of stool were administered to the patients during enteroscopy and colonoscopy. Successful therapy was defined as resolution of diarrhea and disappearance of stool C. diff toxin after FMT. A total of 27 patients underwent simultaneous jejunal and colonic FMT. 100% of our patients reached the primary endpoint of FMT efficacy with marked reduction in stool frequency and a negative stool C. diff toxin at one to three months post FMT. Amongst other symptoms, resolution of abdominal pain was seen in 88% and bloating in 100% patients after FMT. The mean time to resolution of symptoms was three days with the range between one to 15 days. And most patients reported improvement within 48 to 72 hours. Overall follow-up ranged between 9.7 to 34 months. Uh, the only adverse events reported were low-grade fever in 18% and bloating in 11% patients, both of which resolved spontaneously within 12 to 24 hours. These results suggest that one-time delivery of processed fecal filtrate from healthy donors into the jejunum and colon of patients with recurrent Clostridium difficile infection is a highly efficacious therapeutic modality. The fecal samples collected from two FMT patient and donor pairs before and after FMT were analyzed using 16S rRNA gene amplification amplicon pyrosequencing analysis. And this reveals several unique findings. Firstly, homogenization and filtration of fecal samples did not result in any significant change in microbial composition. Secondly, we found a significant reduction in bacterial diversity and richness in uh, fecal samples from two RCDI patients before FMT in comparison to after FMT samples. Thirdly, we noticed overall similarities between after FMT patient and donor fecal microbiota compositions. Details of these interesting changes are discussed in our manuscript. In summary, our results demonstrate the robustness of combined approach of FMT as a therapeutic modality for RCDI. Based on genomic studies, restoration of healthy gut microbiota characterized by an increase in lactospiracy family and reduction in enterobacteraceae may be the likely mechanism underlying the clinical efficacy of FMT in this group of patients. These observations demonstrate the potential to optimize FMT in future with targeted therapies containing predefined cocktail of microbial species. Thank you.